everyone, and welcome back to Claret and Booze. Um, just finished West Ham 1, Leon 1 at the London Stadium. In a bit of a, oh, a, bit, bit of a, bit of a tough watch it was. I mean, um, uh, for anyone that saw my, my review last night, uh, me preview, sorry, uh, you would have seen that I was, I, was, I was pretty buoyant and really, really confident. Probably too confident. Um, you know, Leon are a good team. They're no mugs. We, we, we saw that, you know, in the first half. Although I do think that a lot of that was down to sort of tension with with us with our own players, um, you know, uh, Leon, Leon were looking um, quite threatening uh, to start off with. We were, it was quite tense, um, but you know, we, we 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 grew into the game. We grew into the game, and it was it was a yeah, it, it 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 was it was a really really good strong performance. And then and then we did kind of start trying to carve out opportunities. We was we was looking good. Antonio was playing well. There wasn't really any. Any real weak links, um, apart from the likes of, of which I, I will move on to, um, Ben Rama, who did actually have one of the best moments of the game when Dawson sprayed that beautiful pass over the top, um, and Ben Rama just kind of took it in his stride. Re amazing control, you know. He did, didn't have to break stride. Um, went through and 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 he, yeah, it was it was a good shot. It was on on his weak foot. He he, he kind of yeah. It was it was a it was a good attempt, uh, but that was literally hit. That was literally it from him um, for that game. You know, the rest of, of, of that half, he, he kind of was just ruining attacks. You know, the ball always seemed to find its way to him. One thing you can't criticise him for is he, he shows for the ball. But unfortunately, whenever we mount an attack, the ball finds its way to him. And that's as far as it goes. Because uh, he doesn't really seem to have the, the, the pace to beat a man and get away from them. Uh, and his final ball, and he's, he's crossing from wide areas. For a player who does hug the touchline, I just I, I I struggle with Benny sometimes, uh, and he, and I found it I found him really frustrating tonight. And even if, um, you know, Cresswell hadn't have gone, I think he would have been hooked at half time because he was he was a problem. You know, you've you've got to be more clinical and more creative in those forward areas. Um, you know, we we all wonder why Antonio's not scoring goals and stuff like that. Well, he's he's not gonna. You know, Antonio, bless him, he has to he has to create and score his own goals. He hasn't really got any providers for him, has he? Um, I think one of the best crosses this season was from Antonio to Suchek. Um but yeah, but anyway, sort of a, a, a bit a bit messy. I'm, I'm I'm a little bit scrambled to be quite honest. It was a, it was a really frustrating game. Um, I, I thought we played really well. I thought Leon were better than I expected. They looked big, physical, strong. They was quick. Uh, End on was um uh, was was quite a presence in midfield. Um, I thought Declan Rice. You could see he was. Rightly so. He was he was he was playing a controlled game. He, you could see he didn't want to get he didn't want to collect that booking, um, and he was fine. Declan Rice was fine. I thought Suchek was a little bit anonymous next to him in midfield, but I, I thought Fournells was who seemed to be playing him and Ben Rama were, were kind of toggling between uh, left side of the attack and central midfield, uh, sort of in that number ten role. And I thought Fournells in that slot was just he was outstanding today. He was everywhere. Like I say, today was was a was a great game from Fournells. It wasn't just work rate today. He's passing. Uh, he's he, he was he was superb, you know. And obviously he did have involvement in that in that goal as well, which we'll which we'll get into. Um, but amazing, just 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 really 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 well played. Great to see Bowen back as well. We almost called the um I almost called the team right apart from the fact that I made a made a silly error and and put Lanzini in the team when he was on a ban. Um, so I think Lanzini would have made a big difference today. I think having Lanzini in that in that ten position and having four nails out on the left, that would have been that would have been different. We we would have carved them open. We would have we would have quite comfortably beat them today. I think, and we will do. Um, we will do when we go away for the second leg. Um, but anyway, look, let's move on to the uh, to the big uh, moment of the of the first half, and that was that kind of uh, that it was a dive from uh, from. Dembele, he's he's gone through on goal. Um, I think his first touch has got away from him. Uh, yes, Cresswell has put his hands on him and he's given him a bit of a. I suppose he's given the referee a decision to make and he's given the player an opportunity to to go down. But there was no contact, not 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 really, not enough to pull him down. And you could see it was a delayed reaction. The player kind of looked, saw the ball was getting away from him, and and that's it. He hit the deck. And um, like I say, no hesitation from that from that referee. Um, absolute twat. He'd, he'd been calling everything in their favour the whole the whole bloody half. It was it was so frustrating. You know, 
play action from Leon players. You know, I, I think it happened with uh, with Boateng, didn't it? Where we had a promising attack and he hit the deck and he stayed down, curled up in the ball. The minute the, the minute play stops, he's back up on his feet again. We had uh, similar with Ndombele as well. He done the same thing. You know, this gamesmanship it's so difficult to take from. Uh, but maybe, maybe this is maybe this is what you you've got to get used to in these games. I don't know, but we don't do that. It's not something that we do, and it's not something that I want us to do either. Um, but no, I am I am a bit frustrated. Um, like I say, I was livid when that when when Cresswell got sent off. I I, I couldn't I, I couldn't understand it. Uh, but what confused me even more was the fact that the referee, sorry, not referee, the VAR. Why wasn't that looked at? Why wasn't that overturned? Why wasn't there Why wasn't there a conversation there? Can that not happen? Can you not overturn a red card? I I don't know. I don't get it. I would have thought that that's what it's there for because, you know, that is clear and obvious. That was not in any way, even if it was a foul, I don't think it was a red card because it, the ball was going away from goal. It wasn't like it was a clear goal scoring opportunity. And I, and I don't even think it was a foul. You could have given a foul. We wouldn't have complained, given them the free kick. Nothing resulted in that anyway. But no, that, that did kind of put us, well, you would think it put us on the back foot, but... Um, we're good at this, you know. We're 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 kind of comfortable defending deep, you know that kind of low press that we do. I think Colton Cole alluded to it in the um in the BT commentary. I didn't feel like we was gonna um we was gonna struggle against them. I I was worried that we weren't gonna score. I thought that we would kind kind of try and sort of strangle a um a nil nil at the game, but we didn't. There were moments in that in that second half when we came out uh, where we looked, you know, we 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 looked good. I thought Antonio was leading the line beautifully. You know, he's he's kind of uh, his his forward play was superb. His uh, flicks and headers and everything else was spot on. You know, his control was good. He was holding the ball up. He was turning players. He was he was um, moving the ball really quickly as well. Um, and that's kind of how we 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 got our first our first goal. Well, we got our only goal uh, with Bowen, and that was you know through um, a bit of interplay with Antonio and Fournells, and um, again good work from Fournells and. Uh, uh, a mistake by that twat who laid down in the first half, Boateng, um, followed by another mistake as well because it was his deflection that took it over the keeper. So it was it was it was justice, absolute absolute justice. You know, I, I went crazy when that went in because um, I couldn't see the goal coming. I was quite worried. Um, so yeah, absolutely brilliant. Um, then obviously they made their changes. They brought on more attacking players. They brought on that Tete and. I can't think of the other bloke was that they brought on. But they did definitely look more... Um, they look sharper once they brought these new players on. That Tete looks like a good player. Um, you know, but we defended well. We was we was resilient. We was heroic, I think, at the back. I thought I thought Zuma played well. Um, I, I, I thought I thought Johnson did, did okay when he came in at left back, but that's not his natural position. You know, I thought Fredericks was okay. He was he was good against today. He wasn't really at fault for anything. He was... He was he had his hands four at times, but I, I think he did well. I think he did well. Um, more defensively than getting forward. Like I, like I say, he did get forward, but um, when he when he does, his, his deliveries are not always the best. And that's, like I say, that's half the battle with Antonio where we say he's not scoring goals. You know, we get the balls in these wide positions, but the deliveries, they, they don't go to our forward. You know, it's, it's kind of, they, they really clear the first, the first man. That's something we've really got to work on. But look, on the whole, I'm I'm really really pleased with the result based on the fact that we got um, Cresswell sent off in that game. I, I I think it's fantastic. It really is. You know, basically they had a corrupt referee on their side, and he, and he was corrupt. I mean that that you know the booking for Antonio and, and even worse the one on Bowen, where Bowen didn't even touch the um, Emerson, wasn't it? You know, it, to me it didn't look like he even touched him. And if if he did, it was accidental, and he got he got a yellow card for it. I mean, what is all that about? Um, it, like I say, everything was going in their favour. We had 10 men. They had 45 minutes. They threw all of that. They, they, they rolled every dice. Still couldn't beat us. Still couldn't beat us. We're going to go back to Leon. I think that this match and that referee and what's happened in this game has already sorted David Moyes' team talk for that game. He ain't going to have to get the boys fired up for that. They are going to be fuming, going out there ready to go. And also, they're going to be safe in the knowledge that, look, we know Leon now. We've seen every threat that they've got. They've thrown every. They've thrown a kitchen sink at us. Didn't work. We've got Lanzini back in the next game. Yes, we might have Cresswell, but I'll, I'll be surprised if they don't try and sort of contest that and try and get that overturned, because for me, that wasn't that. That there is no way that should have been a red card. It's it's scandalous. It really is. There's no way it should be a red card. 
So hopefully they can try and get that overturned. But if not, look, Johnson will do a fine job um, at left back anyway. He'll, he'll, he'll be fine. The most important part of the puzzle is getting Benny out of that attack and back on the bench because he ain't bad as an impact player and getting Lanzini slotted in uh, in front of, of Rice and Suchek because, he, like I say, he does knit and he moulds midfield to attack and then maybe we might start seeing some some chances, some more chances for Bowen and Antonio, you know, coming through the middle uh, because, like I say, our threat out wide and our delivery from out, out wide is, is kind of non-existent at the minute. But, yeah, I'm, I'm even more confident now. I'm, I know it was only 1-1, but I'm... I'm even more confident going into the uh, the second leg now. I, I, I think we're going to be fired up. We're going to be ready for it. And uh, we were fired up tonight. We were. And I, and I think we're going to win. But look, a special a special mention. If we, We're going to do our um, our player ratings on the um, on the Clar Claret and Booze up on Saturday at 9 o'clock. Um, so join us for that. Grab a drink. It's, that's, that's a live show. Um, so we'll do that. But I'm going to tell you now, it's a, it's a spoiler. Craig Dawson is, getting, um, is going to get man in the match. I thought Fournells and Dawson were the, were the two best players, along with Antonio. Um, but Dawson, far and away. I mean, you know, apart from the fact he completely, he just refused to to go off after it looked like having his nose broken. Um, you know, because the referee was giving it all that. And Dawson weren't having it. He, he came back on. And then straight after, you know, th those three consecutive challenges where, you know, he, where he, he, he smashed, he smashed into those players. Got the ball first, clean tackles, but he hit the players and all, you know. Um, gave him something to lay down about, you know. Just it was really what we needed at that time. It, he's, 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 he's becoming a bit of a hero, Dawson. He is. I, I was a slow adopter to Dawson. Uh, I, I, you know, because he was only two million. You start thinking to yourself, oh, you know, can he really be that good? But yeah, he is. You know, he's even even technically, he's passing. His passing's really good. You know, he's he's long passing. He's he's a he's a fantastic defender. You you, I rarely see at the moment. This isn't criticising Zuma. Um, it's just it just goes to show how good Dawson is. But I rarely see Zuma outshining Dawson at the minute. Dawson's growing. He's he's fantastic and he's everything that West Ham fans love. Uh, Craig Dawson uh, and for me, for me, he's got to be. He's got to be an early shout for Hammer of the Year. He's got to be. Declan Rice is the best player. We know that. But for Hammer of the Year, you know, he came in two million pound. Um, he's he's always been the underdog. He's always been a backup. I don't think he should be the underdog anymore. I mean, he's going to have. Um, we had a conversation tonight on on WhatsApp with with John, Nigel, and uh, and Gary and Stell, and we we were saying, you know, if if Ogbonna was fully fit and he came back now and he was fully fit and back to his best, who do you drop? Do you drop Dawson at the moment? Well, I don't know. I mean, there's an argument to say Zuma is currently playing on the left side of centre back, which isn't his strongest side to facilitate Dawson, so therefore you're not getting the best out of, of, of Zuma, whereas when you bring Ogbonna in, you know, people can adopt their natural positions. But how, how could you how could you even consider dropping Dawson at the minute? I mean, he was critical tonight. He, he, he throws his body on the line, He's and I love watching him. You know, he, he's, he's, he's an exciting defender, you know? Like, when you go up the other end and you score a goal, what you want from your defenders is your defenders smashing people up in the air, and that's what he does. Um, yeah, he's brilliant. I love him. Uh, so like I say, all in all, under the circumstances, um, West Ham 1, Leon 1 is a fantastic result for 10-man West Ham. For 45 minutes, we had 10 men. We, we've seen everything that they've got to throw at us. We've got nothing to fear. Um, we're going to be stronger when we go back. Uh, our game plan will be sharper because, like I say, we've already seen their threats. Like I, like I say, they, they rolled every dice. They threw every player on. You know, Moyes didn't. So... Yeah, that's that's basically it from me. There will be a, a preview on um, not a preview. We'll we'll do a review, a full review, and we'll do the the player ratings on the um on the Saturday night booze up. Um, but I'm telling you now, there's no way I'm not letting Craig Dawson get that man in the match. He's he's just epic that guy. So uh, so yeah, that's it. Well done, West Ham. You've done us proud again. Not for the first time this season. Hopefully not for the last. Um, and yeah, look forward to that um, to that second leg at Leon, Where, and I, I think we're going to go through. I still believe that, you know. Uh, oh, oh, it's it, it's it's going to happen this year. I know it is. Uh, thanks for watching. Anyway, um, drop a like if you enjoyed it, and um, yeah, come on your irons.